So we don't think AI, AI won't, change, won't change the world, but you will, and therefore it's all about people. It's about us doing it and having the right strategy. And another part, okay, so we talked about the AI debates, right? So there's the boomers and doomers. Boomers say full speed ahead on AI, what is also known as effective accelerationists. And the doomers are effective altruists, so that's one divide. We're not in that debate. The second divide is proprietary models versus open source models. We're not in that debate. The third model is AI for replacement versus AI for augmentation. In other words, the people building full self-driving cars, level five self-driving cars are saying, we don't need anyone to drive the car, it'll drive by itself. Whereas if somebody is building a very advanced driver assistant, the driver still is there, but the driver is amplifying his ability to uh, drive with, this, with these things, which is what is happening. We are in the camp of AI for amplification. We are not in AI for replacement. We think that's not where to go. But if we can use AI to amplify human potential, if everyone can improve their lives with AI to access information, to give intent, to make transactions happen, improve their capabilities, and so on, that's where the action is. So our view is use AI for augmentation, not replacement, and this is what our philosophy should be. And then, of course, how do we then create a global talent? I think India has already led the way in terms of creating talent for many other areas, and we think we have an opportunity to create talent for AI. And again, that requires the infrastructure which allows you know, millions of people to learn AI skills. In other words, use AI to learn AI. That, that's how we think about it. And if we can improve learning, then we can get, and that can you know, service the world just like everything else. So DPI, it's not deep, digital public, it's not just DPI plus AI. It's DPI to the power of AI. In other words, take DPI and apply AI to every part of it and amplify every part of it. That's how we, we think about this AI stuff. And so we see, uh, you know, last 10, 15 years, we have built the digital infrastructure for, and which has, we have seen the results of that. But the next decade is going to be applying AI and genuinely using this to further amplify and solving India's problems. Thank you very much. Moderate some questions um, for Mr. Nilikani. It's easier if I do it from here. If you want to sit, please go ahead. I can, I can stand. Keep an eye. Okay, so there are mics in different parts of the room. So perhaps if I could just ask you to get up to the mics in themselves um, as you kind of. Okay, there are mics, as I said. If, if anyone's interested, there are mics across the room. So please ask any questions. But as people get organized, um, so this is quite a compelling new thesis of yours, um, Mr. Nilikani. And I can uh, <laughs> unveil that GTS. Can convene a GTS, and I can very much see that we are going to unpack this, unbundle this, or you are going to unpack this, unbundle this, and this is going to be something. I think in a year and a half, two years, or maybe even sooner, when we are here, what is it going to take to make DPI equal, quote unquote, DPI? 